Hey everybody, this is my Scribian, another episode that I prepared for all my followers. I'm very excited for this episode because every time that I get a chance to interview a, somebody that has a lot of meaning in my life as a person, as an individual, as a business person, and especially I can say a good friend that I know many, many years, it makes me very excited to do this interview. So that's why this interview is very special. I'm honored to you know, sit down with a very good friend of mine, Armin Tatsian, that I know for 23 years. Can you imagine? Armin, how are you? Good to see you, brother. I'm very happy, man. You know, 23 years. Can you imagine? And we're finally sitting down to yeah. do an interview. <laughs> so it took us 23 years to prepare this. So how you been? Really, really well. Yeah, that's Really good. well. How you doing? Good. I'm doing good. Uh, you know, sometimes I look back 23 years. It's easy to say, but I remember uh, you back in the days when we just starting to develop our business mind. That was back in what, 2001? Roughly, yeah. Out of high school in early college or whatever huh? was left of it. Yeah. Well, you know, I think, you know, this interview will definitely impact a lot of people because we can kind of go over different topics. But I want to start with a uh, little bit about your background, if you can say, you know, where you started your business mind. Uh, well, as many, many other, you know, people that can relate, uh, my family migrated here from, from a, you know, I grew up in Belarus, right? Yeah. So they, we ran away uh, from my home country and yeah. then we ended up in Belarus and uh, growing up as a kid, you know, learned uh, good values and principles and uh, hard work. From your parents, right? Absolutely. And yeah. then, you know, watching my family go through all the challenges coming to America, right, the land of opportunity. Yeah. We, uh, my mind was always curious. I was very skeptical, mm. very analytical mind by nature, by default, yeah. but it was curious. So that curiosity kind of carried me through. And then, you know, one meeting, another meeting, uh, meet somebody, you get inspired and you say, you know what, I would like to learn these things, I these see. skills. So that kind of got me going, yeah. saying, you know what, it would be nice to have more for our family, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, and as you continue, as you know yourself, when you work on your mind and you work on your craft and things, you start to look at things through different lens. Yeah. And then it kind of snowballs from there where it becomes a habit and a lifestyle, right? Yeah, right. It's not like a, a check mark like we did when we were in school. Yeah. Like <laughs> I have to do my homework and now I have to take this class. It, yeah. It's not about that anymore. It's kind of like for those exercise. Yeah, yeah. It's a lifestyle. Right. I mean, if anybody uh, gonna follow Armin, you see the contact information, make sure do, because he puts a lot of valuable uh, information in social media. So a lot of times he goes over what he does. So I ended up in a, in a business environment where I got the best of both worlds, right? Uh -huh. um, you mentioned some of those early meetings, <laughs> uh, events, yeah. right? And um, the environment that w we really enjoyed, right? Um, I started my, you know, personal library because of that environment, right? That's part of it. That's part of it, yeah. This we help people get out of debt, um, consumer and business debt. Mm -hmm. And yes, there's a lot of alternatives, which is the challenging piece. And, and yeah. I think that the way we solve that is by informing people, yeah, right? People yeah. make bad decisions because they just don't know. Especially in finances. Especially in finances. Yeah. So I wish I knew how certain things work. Yeah. When I was 21 years old, when I was 22 yeah, years yeah. old, um, I had a gentleman that would constantly remind me um, and say, look, you gotta get life insurance, you gotta get life insurance. <laughs> and I was young, my mindset, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I didn't valued, click at the time. No, I yeah. valued different things in my mind. Oh, I'm just gonna make more money. Yeah. But I didn't understand, right? And after I got educated, I said, oh my God, wow. Now it makes sense. There's so much value. I can't imagine I used to think this way. Yeah. So really what, what I get to do now is, is the best part of my job is I get to educate the, the consumer about all their options. Yeah, Whether yeah. you pick my option or somebody else's option, yeah. my goal is to make sure you're making the best decision that's in your best interest. Yeah. And, uh, and I feel like that's missing a little bit, right? Yeah. Because yeah. you expect somebody that works for Toyota only to sell Toyota. <laughs> Right? I agree. And, I and, agree. and I try to, I do my best not to be biased in that yeah, way. Yeah. And I want to say, guys, uh, I got a chance to work with Armin with a couple of clients that uh, I referred to him. 
not only clients were happy how he educated them, but uh, you know, I like the fact that you, you're, you're great at customer service and people, when they work with you, not only they like the service, but you know, uh, they, they learn a lot of ideas that you teach them not to do the same mistakes again. Agree with me. A lot of people after high school, technically they don't read any book. They don't, they don't do any self-improvement and they wonder how come their life never changes because you don't work on here. So I think that um, there's a couple of variables there and, and it can be uh, you know misinterpreted but yeah. I think one of the biggest things is your environment. So your environment starts in your home, mm -hmm. right? So yes. if it's a, a healthy home, two parents, values, principles, yes, yes good, bad, a good moral compass, right? Yeah. Um, as a kid, you like we teach our child, you know, today to be respectful. Yeah. Right? When I was walking with my mom when I was a, a, a maybe five, six years old, if there is a stranger coming our way, yeah. I was taught to show respect and to acknowledge that person yeah. and say hello, right? That's a nice thing to do. Today you, you know, don't see that you're anymore. lucky if they don't bump you off the road, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Respect. Yeah. Uh, your environment uh, professionally. And then before you get to the professional part, it's going to be in school, yeah. right? Yeah. So, and then what, what happens in the, in the public schooling today, right? Yeah, yeah. Remember, there was a corner there where this gang was here, and th maybe it's not like that anymore. I don't know. I yeah. tried to go back to my high school a few times <laughs> to see some of my did teachers. Did you went Marshall or Hollywood High? Hollywood High School. Hollywood High. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, the funny part is that I stayed out of that in, in influence and environment because I was not a social kid. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it wasn't like, I wasn't being influenced by all that, but yeah, yeah. environment is important, yes. yes. And then when you graduate that and you're in a working environment, now that environment is shaping your belief system on what's possible, what's not possible. So if you're around a bunch of yeah. negative people that are constantly blaming the government, yeah. <laughs> you, you can't change that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So. For us, I think we got lucky because we had people that poured into our mind and invested. Mm -hmm. And look, sometimes investment doesn't work, right? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, why yeah. it's called an investment, yeah. but sometimes it does. And it, it, it's, it sprouts and Change then your life. it changes everything. Yeah. Yeah. Armin, I know you're busy. You, you, not only you know, you're running a business, you work with your team, and both of us are parents. How important it is for entrepreneur-minded individuals, business people, to still find a balance to spend time with their kids and family. I know a few times we went out with our kids, which was fun, and yeah. we should continue doing that. Armin, <clears throat> another thing I want to ask you, knowing you for many years as a, as a business person and a friend, I know you have good discipline. Where is that coming from? Because I see a lot of people, they have good idea, good talent, but they never reach success. And when I say success, not only financially, in their life, could be their family uh, success, about their family, how they grow, about their health, about their finances, why not? How do you discipline yourself? Because a lot of people I see, especially the young ones, they lock on that. Discipline is, is tough. I, I think obviously having a good parenting, uh, favorable environment, um, by surrounding because people around the, me. Sorry to cut you, but we, we decided to meet here, right? Yes. I came, you're, you're here, you're in the office. I didn't even have a one second doubt that I'm going to come and wait you. I already knew you're going to be here. That's a discipline. I understand your question. So yes, to me it's different. And let me explain what I mean. Yeah. To me it's, are you a dependable person? Can your family depend on you? I want my family to be able to rely on me. Meaning what? I show up like can you imagine your reputation is that guy's word is not much yeah. you may get it you may not you never know yeah. if you and I agree on something I want my handshake to mean something and you don't get a reputation by labeling it and saying I am this way you get a reputation of how you act for five yeah. years for ten years yeah, for twenty yeah. years and then you're gonna say you know what maybe Armin is a difficult person to deal with but if he agrees with you on something, you can it's trust this guy. Yeah. It's yeah. gonna, right? I'm not saying I'm gonna make magic happen. What I'm saying is, um, for me, it comes with like integrity. 
yeah. and, and keeping your word and doing what yeah. you said you were going to do a long time yeah. after the mood, yeah. we say it, and is gone, right? Yeah. And isn't that true about everything, all decisions we make? Yeah. But, um, and I also had the privilege of failing a few times <laughs> early on in my uh, sales career. That's where you learn the best lessons. And then man. you start to figure things out. You know, one of the things I learned from Jim Rohn is sometimes you have to reflect. Maybe at the end of the day, a few minutes. Yeah. Maybe at the end of the week, an hour. Yeah. Maybe at the end of, and I know you do this, yeah. but we have to reflect, why? So that we can evaluate, are we on track, are we off track? Yeah. Right? And yeah. all this stuff sounds great, but guess what? When action time comes, sometimes people don't execute that. They mm -hmm. fall into their habits. Yeah. And I wanted to make sure that I don't fall into my habits, yeah. that I'm not a hostage to my habits. Yeah. And yeah. if I am, I'm going to work on those habits. Yeah. If I, you know, people always said, do you really uh, read all these books? No, I didn't read all these books, yeah. right? But Jim Rohn would say it made me feel smarter just by having <laughs> them. Now, have I read a lot? Yeah. Probably closing in on about a, a thousand books Yeah. In, in the last... That is a lot. Since I quit college, right? Yeah, yeah. I stopped <laughs> learning and then I started learning. So. Yeah. Um, but for me, it's it's about a habit. Yeah. I'm going to sharpen my knife occasionally if I'm in the kitchen. I'm going to sharpen my axe occasionally yeah. if I'm out there chopping the tree down, right? Yeah. And that's what this is. It's a habit that allows me to sharpen myself a little bit. Yeah. And if I can just get one idea yeah. out of this book and one good idea out of this book that I can you know, incorporate in my life, yeah. it's worth the process. Yeah. Yeah. So today, when I get into my car, am I saying that I never listen to the radio? No, I never watch Netflix. But you have the personal development always part of your I daily balance. life. I balance. If yeah. it's the end of the day, and, and so I'm a, also a gamer, right? Yeah. During COVID, I sold all my uh, consoles because I said, okay, we're going to have to be forced to work from home. Yeah, I yeah. don't know what's going to happen. So I literally sold all my, I got rid of all the distractions. Yeah. And that during that period, I did 10 books a, a month. Yeah. So eventually we're gonna get to the end of the tunnel, the yeah. dust will settle, but when it's done, I wanna come out faster, stronger, yeah. smarter, right? So I, I bought some of the Xboxes back, <laughs> but my point is this, that it's a way for me to unwind, just like fishing, right? Yeah, for yeah. some people, it's different uh, uh, activities that they do. It's part of a way that I unwind. Yeah. But even if I do that, I'm still gonna listen to a podcast. Got I'm still it. gonna listen to an audiobook because I almost feel guilty yeah. If I don't, because that's a habit now, yeah, yeah. right? So, yeah, nice. it's, it's uh, the discipline aspect. It's going to come from some experience knowing that, look, if you don't do what you're supposed to do, you're going to fail. Yeah. So um, I want to I wanna throw this out there. So if anyone gets hold of Armin, or you, if you get a chance to, you know, come to his office or meet him, make sure you have a good book to give him as a gift because he does collect a lot of books and, this is a great example uh, that it shows that it is very important to read and do personal development because if you work on your mindset, I'm a big believer you can reach a lot of success in your life. Now, to, to close the video, Armin, uh, yesterday I did an interview in my office uh, and uh, two young guys came. My first thought was, you know what, they're 18, 19. I'm like... They're too young. I don't know if they're going to, you know, do well, what like I a said. Job interview? A job interview, and they wanted it to uh, invest a little bit of money they had. Okay. So, and then I'm like, you know what? Hold on. Let me not judge them because I was 18 when I started the business world. So, where I'm going is, what advice will you give to people who are just starting their life, 18, 20, 25, that, because it's so easy nowadays to get distracted. All the, you know, social media and all the bad things that are out there will get these youngsters to get distracted to go and reach their goals. So what would you encourage them? <clears throat> That's a really good question and I think that it's a problem that our society is, some people are really trying to make an impact yeah. uh, in their way and um, you said a key word there, you said how do they stay away from the distractions yeah. to uh, pursue their goals, right? Yeah. And I think that it starts with you having a goal. A lot of people, their goal is not their goal. 
yeah. maybe it's what they're they parents. don't even have one exactly so i was gonna say if you have a really big goal that you want to achieve yeah it might be hard to hit but how are you gonna hit a goal that you don't have it's impossible and yeah. that's the first issue first you got to get some goals yeah you got to figure out what you want and then if you start early we aim really really high we attempt yeah. we burn our finger and we never try again because we're like oh that's pain yeah. well that's why you got to read more books and condition your mind yeah so that way I'm a human being, you're a human being, you experience emotions, yeah. a business deal goes south, right? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't feel good. Yeah. You don't go home and celebrate, pop a bottle of champagne. What do you do after that? That's what do you do decision. after that? So what yeah. I worked on is when I was younger and I said, okay, how do I take my downtime and shrink it? I'm still a human being, I'm gonna feel what I feel. Yeah. But instead of me wobbling around for two days feeling sorry for myself, yeah. let, me, let me reflect for 20 minutes. Let me have my moment, 20 minutes later, Back and On to the next. Yeah. What, I, what did I learn? Could I have done something better? Why? Why that question, line of questioning? Because you have control over your actions, your emotions, how you respond. I have control over my actions, my emotions, and how I respond. Yeah. So, you know, you got to make some goals. You got to condition yourself, right? Yeah. And then lastly is don't take advice from people that are not where you want to be five years, That's ten years. That's a big one. Like, come on. Yeah. You know, there's people that you and I look up to. Yeah. right that yeah, yeah. We, we we look at the the work they're doing and what they've accomplished yeah and you're like you know what man that inspires me i gotta go get my yeah. level up to the next level yeah. i'm not gonna take advice from somebody that's not yeah. where i want to be health finance or family yeah yeah i always say armin if you want to go up compare up if you feeling down or going down compare down in other words don't compare yourself with somebody that is you're better than them. Compare somebody who's better than you so you have a room to grow. And if you're feeling down, compare yourself to somebody who's worse than you so you mm -hmm. appreciate. So that really helped me to adjust my mind when I go through challenging times to stay focused. So, Armin, thank you. I know your schedule is busy. Thank you for the time. And again, uh, follow Armin Tatian. You guys see his information. Make sure you follow him on Instagram, especially. And a lot of times he will post the, the business that he does. And he always gives very valuable information. So thank you again, Armin, for your time. I was very honored and happy to do this interview. I'm sure we'll do more in the future. Pleasure was all mine, brother. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. All right, take care. Take Have care, everybody. Bye-bye.